I'm Charlie Gillespie. I play a little bit Julian Phantoms. I grew up in a family uh, with five kids, and my mom wanted us to all be musicians, all be some type of artist. So we had dancers, we had all that kind of stuff. But music was obviously was always our main focus, and uh, and you know I idolized my brothers for what they were doing. My my oldest brother Ryan, he could shred on the guitar, and my my other brother Patrick on the drums, he would kill it. And then Michael as well on the bass and keyboard, and he was just he knew everything and. And me watching that is just, it was the, it was the perfect environment to, uh, to appreciate it in. And there's their, their choices of music too. Like um, the people who I listen to now, well, look, I, I have a bunch of cassettes here. Um, yeah, we got Bob Dylan, Aerosmith. Yeah, definitely wouldn't matter. But I think my number one is always the Eagles. I, I'm, I'm like one of the biggest Eagles fans. So anyways, I'll put this back. I, I, I grew up in an environment that that loved music and not just loved it for the stage present, but loved it for the medium and the art that it was. And I think that's kind of what drew me towards it. <laughs> Once in a while, there's these projects that come around and I, I watch them on TV because I love the core of what it means and, and how it feels and the energy and what it's going to look like. But you know, once in a while you get these scripts that you finish reading it and you just take a breath because you hadn't breathed for like the entire uh, duration that you were reading it. And Julian the Phantom is one of those. You know, when we get to the end and the boys were staying behind Julie after like her awakening in the music world again, um, I'm getting chills just thinking about it, but it, 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 it blew me away. And so I was in love with it from, from day one. And then I got into the audition room and uh, I, I, I know the casting directors very well. Jason and Natalie, they are uh, two of my heroes out in California, 100%, because they were the ones who gave a little Canadian boy a chance to go down to the States. And um, and so I, I, I was already in a good mood, so happy to see them. But, you know, I got to play music for the for the, for the the folks who were running the session, you know, Kenny and Dan and Dave and Mark and just the entire gang. And, uh, and anything like that, also, just coming back to music, you know, when I watch my brothers play out here, there's a few songs that they really pick up that the crowd loves. So I started off with a Shawn Mendes little slower song, and then they were like, well, you know, it looks a little more, uh, I don't know, like rock, you know, he's, and they started naming like Weezer and, and Blink-182 and those kind of bands, like, no, a punk, like 90s punk. And so I was like, okay, well, I didn't have any in my back pocket at the time. I was like, what about, can I play you guys something else? They're like, sure. So then I whipped out a, uh, like my my safety net. I want it that way. <laughs> I want it that way. And I got them singing it, right? Uh, but it was it was really 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 cool experience. And I got to do some fun stuff. You know, I just it, the audition room is like a really big place for you to just break free. And and so I, I did like this power slide, and I knew it, they loved it right away. They were just like so excited about it. But it was a really cool experience. I'm Charlie Gillespie. And you're so beautiful now.